Hello and a happy new year to you all. Oh, yes, the Christmas holidays are over again, but on a positive note, Danta will not be making a reappearance for at least 11 months. Coming up on today's show, we've got race action from the latest UCI Cyclocross World Cup, the six days of Rotterdam, plus the Mitchton Bay Crits, which have opened the road season down in Australia. We've also got our regular features, the GCN Strava Club Tech and Tweet of the Week, plus the winner of our latest Facebook competition. In a rare foray outside of Belgium, the latest round of the UCI Cyclocross World Cup took place in Rome and it was an inform Katie Compton of Trek Factory Racing who took the win in the women's event. And that win was enough to give her the overall victory in the series. And to make the win even more sweet, second place was none other than Cyclocross world champion and road champion, Mariana Voss. Yeah, it was really hard because like, I, you never know how hard the other person's working and uh, she was riding really well with the um, switchbacks and accelerating well. So I knew I was strong in the mud. Um, and I tried to push the mud there and then it's so hard on like the power section because there's always a headwind so I didn't want to do too much work at the front but um, it was hard and I'm really happy with just the way I rode and just being smooth and um, being able to attack the end and carry it on. Meanwhile in the men's event it was Niels Albert of the BKCP Power Plus team who took a solo victory ahead of the current series leader Lars van der Haar of Rubberbank. World champion Sven Nace was in third riding on his brand new Trek bike. More on that later. Albert's victory closes the gap to Van der Haar in the overall series to 54 points. However, with just one round remaining, it looks now like it's the Dutchman's to lose. In what is a regular prelude to the most important part of the road cycling season in Australia, the Mitchelton Bay Crit attracted some top stars looking to hone their form ahead of the Australian National Championships and of course the upcoming Tour Down Under. Despite not winning one of the four events, consistency was enough to give Brenton Jones the overall victory, whilst individual days went to Zach Dempster, Matt Goss, Luke Durbridge and finally Caleb Ewan. The women's series was completely dominated by double world champion Georgia Bronzini of the Wiggle Honda team, who won three out of the four races. In fact, the only person to beat her was Chloe Hosking, who took the victory on day two. The 32nd edition of the Rotterdam Six Day is now well underway and this prestigious track event has attracted an impressive list of entrants. It's been a back and forth battle between the Omega Pharma quickstep pairing of Nicky Terpster and Ilio Kesa, who after day four were sitting just behind Kenny de Cataylor and Jasper de Boist. Tinkoff Saxo's Michael Morkoff and Alex Rasmussen were also sitting on the same lap as the leaders, so we should be in store for an exciting finale. The first World Tour race of the year is now almost in sight and yes, GCN are going to be there. We're flying out to Australia next week for the Tour Down Under. If you've got anything specific that you'd like us to feature whilst we're there, please let us know in the comments section below. On to the GCN Strava Club now, which is closing in on 3,000 members. And yet again, at the top of the longest distance ridden is Cycle Doctor One, who this week did 1,122 kilometers. However, Durian Ryder, who also has his own YouTube channel, topped the longest individual ride and the total amount of climbing for the week. Our member of the week, though, goes to Emma Walsh, who on New Year's Eve did an impressive 213 kilometer ride around the picturesque roads of Southern Ireland, taking six KOMs along the way. My special mention of the week goes to Samuel Renner in Brazil, who did a 101 km ride early in the new year at an average speed of 33.5 k's per hour. Not only am I jealous of your form, Samuel, I'm also jealous of the fact that you did the ride in 28 degrees C. If you've got anybody that you think warrants a special mention on the GCN Strava Club, please let us know in the comments section below or on our Facebook page. On to our Facebook competition now, and we asked you to send in your Christmas cracker photos. And snow was a big theme throughout, as you can see from this photo sent from New York by David Chen. While Switzerland looked equally as cold, judging by this picture taken by Franco Zafra, however, our winner is Peter Bartley, who took this stunning picture from the Col de Belvaux in France. Send us your address, Peter, and we'll get a GCN bottle in the post. Next week's Facebook competition is entitled, wait for it, Ridiculous resolutions. Yes, we all make New Year's resolutions that we know we're not going to be able to keep to. So if you've set some and you've already faltered, let us know on the Facebook page and you might be featured in next week's show and you might even get a GCN water bottle. Tech news this time comes from Trek, who last week unveiled their brand new range of cyclocross bikes called Boone. Longtime Colnago athlete Sven Nies has made the transition over to the Boone and as we mentioned, he used it to come third at the recent round of the UCI World Cup. However, the Boone has already won a round of the World Cup through their long-time sponsored athlete, Katie Compton. 
Both cantilever and disc brake options are available on the three models, the Boon 5, 7 and 9, and the frame sets feature an ISO speed decoupler, which was first developed to help Fabian Cancellara stay more comfortable over the cobbles of Paris-Roubaix. Trek claims that the Boon is the lightest cyclocross frame on the market at under 1,000 grams. If you happen to have missed any of the videos so far in 2014, don't forget to go back and take a quick look. There's a New Year's resolutions video by myself and Matt Stevens. And I also did a video showing you how to get the most out of your power meter with some simple tests that you can use to track fitness. Coming up this week, well, on Wednesday, we've got our guide to turbo training. And on Thursday, we've got our brand new top 10 ways to lose weight. Then coming up shortly, we've got GCN's brand new range of spin classes for you to train along to. Tweet of the week this time comes from Omega Pharma Quickstep riders Denek Stebar, who posted this picture of he and three teammates doing a test at their team training camp. My bet is that the guy on the right broke the rig. That's all for this week. Hopefully 2014 will be bigger and better for GCN. And if you've got any suggestions for content, you can let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you soon. The Yates Brothers. The Yates twins burst onto a lot of people's radars at the 2013 Tour de l'Avenir, where Adam finished second overall and Simon won two stages. 